What in all creation is that contraption? It's a smartphone. It's for texting, calling, games, videos, taking selfies, and... Which, by the way, I am not gonna explain to you, so don't bother asking. I know what a selfie is. Whoa! What the f*** was that? Oh, one of my talents, if you will. Hmm. I get it. Like New York City versus New York State. Exactly. I think. I have no idea what Newark is. No, not Newark. New York. Is there a difference? About a million. Straight. I'm somewhere that's not what I would call Earth. I'm seeing freaking dragons, and oh yeah, I'm talking to a cuff. Did I just do that? Well, definitely with my assistance. I did not just do that. We did. I just moved with my mind. Perhaps our connection has somehow awoken some abilities. I just moved with my mind. I just keep hearing I, I, I. I just moved with my freaking mind! <laughs> yeah, okay, that is something I do now. I do magic, talk to sentient cuffs, kill jacked up beasts. You know what? I'll probably fly next. Now you're just being ridiculous. Oh, that's what too far. Good to know there's a line. If you could just master these new abilities, with my help, of course. Um, did you not just see me take out that gnarly beast? <laughs> that intro literally summarized everything I was feeling witnessing this game, man. Forspoken is literally the worst game to come out this year already. Fellas, this is not a good start for gaming at all. This game is not even a 4 out of 10, not even a 5 out of 10. This game is terrible. How are people defending this game? I have no clue. I did hear if you don't like this game, you're a racist. And despite that, I'm going to throw this back onto the developers. Aren't they racist for making this black little girl, you know, a thief? Because at the start of the game, she's a thief and she's black. Ha, huh? you racist. <laughs> but that's besides the point, fellas. This game is terrible. It's bad. We can't even start with the dialogues. Man, the actor. I'm thinking this actor, you know, she started in Charlie's Angels. I didn't watch the new Charlie's Angels, but I know she's an actor. And you know how it is when these games love putting their budgets on A-list actors, high-end actors, just to make their games credible or people to buy the game. This actor is a terrible actor. People that don't even act can act way better than this actor and voice act better than her. She can't even sell you a character in the game. I can sell you a character in the game, and I'm not even an actor myself. The dialogues are terrible, fellas. They tried to implement banter, you know, some funny moments. Brutal. You know, uh, forced cussing. That's another thing that's within the dialogue. For some reason, every, this, this, this protagonist, and I put that in quotes, Cuss is like a sailor. And the thing is, none. I, I've played games with cuss cursing before, but it's just this game. If you remember Saints Row 2022, how I also had the same problem with it. You cannot just put F words in every single sentence of the game. You cannot just, con no normal person talks that way. No, they don't. Just because this game is not, you know, gory, you know, there's not a lot of killings and not a lot of, you know, violent acts. So in order to allow the game to be a mature slap on a mature title, they had to add a lot of cussing in there. A lot. And when I mean a lot, fellas, I mean a lot of cussing. This game is brutal with the cussing. It's like that. that <laughs> that's the main dialogue. F words after F words after F words. That's the main dialogue for this lady or this protagonist. Again, I put the quotation up. So. That is the thing. She couldn't sell you this character. I mean, watch the intro, fellas. The intro perfectly summarizes the dialogue section. It is just terrible. Now, from the acting, you would think, okay, is that just a bad thing? No. It suffers from another typical thing that modern games suffer from. Open world. Boring, boring, boring open world, fellas. The open world. Every modern game must be open world. I've, I know I've said this in the previous previous uh 
video before. I've said this in a video before. But why does every modern game must be open world? Why? Let me know why. What's the hype about modern uh, open world? Who is asking for open world? Because I know I ain't asking for every game to be open world. I don't mind open world. That's not what I'm saying. I don't say I hate open world. But why does every game have to be open world? Why must every game be so big? Not just open world. Huge open worlds. Big. Look at Fallout 4. That's what Fallout 4 suffered from. That one time. It came out. Too big. Too big of an open world. There's, there's such thing as a too big, fellas. Yes, there is. Especially if the at least Fallout 4. I don't want to compare this game to Fallout 4. But at least Fallout 4 had texture and, you know, uh, of uh, details into the world. This one is terrible. <laughs> this one is boring. Blend, just run around. You see a couple of zombies here and there. You fight them. If there's a boss there, you fight them. It tries to be Elden Ring. It tries to be a good open world, but it's just bad fellas and i don't want to compare this to any of the good game open world games i don't because it doesn't even come close that's what i'm saying but my main problem is why must every game be open world why just stop making you can make a variety of games you don't have to make open world all the time open world has kind of it's starting to kill games it is you got to be honest with yourself it is so that's just one part of modern games not just open world though this game costs 70 bucks. <laughs> this game is $70, dude. <laughs> and, ah, fellas, this game is not worth it at all. If you thought this was worth it, no, it's not. I'm here to tell you it's not worth $70. Dude, how, that's another problem with modern games also. 70 bucks. $70? Really? Really? All the budget went to uh, the acting, huh? And the massive open world. Nothing went... Well, not the acting. The actor. Nothing went went into the dialogues and the, you know, plot of the story. Everything went straight <laughs> into the open world and graphics. Even then, the graphics are terrible, bro. Graphics are not that good. They, they're not... They, didn't you need, like, a 3080 to play this game? And... Gra <laughs> Graphics not even that good. On the PS5, not that good. PC, not that good. I even heard about performance issues already. I mean, some games have performance issues, but this game already suffers from it, and it wasn't even that good looking in the first place. But, fellas, just like I said, I don't understand why every game must be like this. Why is it that we can't get a good experience? Why must every... I'm not, I know I keep saying every, but most of these games be terrible experiences dude must we can't we can't have multiple games that are good must it be one that's good out of many that's terrible like look at last year look at elden ring the only one that is actually pretty good out of all the games that came out that time like i never look back onto the old console look how many good releases there were Dude, there are way too... And this is a terrible start. There are way too many bad releases. Way too many bad releases. And the PS5 haven't even been out for that long. There's not that many games. And there are already too many terrible releases. <sighs> Fellas, you guys let me know. If you played this game and you liked it, let me know what you liked in the comments and dislike the video. And if you liked the video and you played the game, let me know what I missed about it. I don't even want to keep going about this. But, Fellas, this is just... Uh, this is sad. At this point, it is sad. Must I not like everything? Or in anything, I meant to say? Must I not like anything? Must every game or most games be bad? I'm not even I'm not even being sarcastic or playing around or joking. This is brutal. 